If you ever wonder how modded Xbox 360 console connect to Xbox Live without getting instantly banned, this is the video for you. Today we are doing a deep dive into XGuard, one of the most popular stealth server plugin for RGS3 and JTAG console. I'll explain what XGuard actually does, what it's, where it sits in your system, what it protects, and what it does not. So this is RGS3101. Let's get into it. So XGuard stealth server is designed for a modded Xbox 360 console. It runs in the background as a dash launch plugin and acts as a middle layer between your console and Xbox Live. So think of XGuard as a security filter, but it's not a magic shield because it's nothing is 100% safe. Without a stealth server, a modded console fails security check instantly, and stealth server reduces the chances of a console getting banned. So it allows limited access to Xbox Live. So having a modded console, it's never recommended to try and connect to Xbox Live without a stealth server. So what happened when you turn on your console? So when you turn on your system after boot, that launch loaded XGuard as a plugin, among other plugins as normally. XGuard remains active during runtime and it monitors your live activity. So imagine Xbox Live as a playground. XGuard is the guard that checks every request before entry. So your KV badge, basically, which is your key vault, that's your identity badge. And while the badge gets granted entry into the playground, which is Xbox Live, invite badge gets denied, which would be like your abandoned console. You will not be able to go onto Xbox Live. So all traffic must pass through XGuard before reaching Xbox Live. And that's how you actually get connected. So the core function of XGuard is to manage your console identity and response to secure the challenge and server validation data. So this is what gets you connected for you to play online. 